Hi, my name is Gabriel from Gabag USA. In this video, we're going to see how to change the capacitors from a video card, as you can see here. We have two bad ones, this one here, this one here, when you see them blow, that means that we have to change it and we can repair the video card for a few dollars. Here we have the new ones, so when you have to replace them, you have to see the value. Here it says 6.3 volts and 1000 microfarad. And the same here is 16 volts and 470 microfarad. So in this case, it's a little bit more complicated than another video card. For example, we have this one that has the same problems. It's all solemn, the capacitors. In this case, you just have to unsolder these contacts here, remove it, put it the new one. In this case, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because we have to take apart the heatsink and everything so we can access to the back part of this side. In this part we don't have any issue, we can just unsolder in from here and that's it. So we can try to start with this one and after that we're going to try to take it apart and replace the, the other one. So remember this uh, strip line like you see here or you see here it is the negative uh, side, the short leg, and the long one is the positive side. So you have to keep that in mind. We're going to need a solder, as you can see here. Remember to unsolder the right leg. If the solder that you have is not very powerful, you can change for another one more powerful. This one is an old and crappy one that we have, but if it is not enough to do the job, I'll get another one that is more powerful than this one. I'm going to get another one that will be much better and faster. Well, here we are back. I got the almost new and more powerful soldering, so we're going to use this. And we're going to heat up the little legs, as we can see here. going to push there it goes oh, I'm going to do the same here and as you can see we have done it now remember the polarity of the capacitor so we have to do the right thing, otherwise we're going to blow up the, the new one. So we're going to put the strip side in this part. And we have to see what is the value of this. Is a thousand microfarad by 6.3 volts. So here we have 16, this was is not. We're going to see this one. Yeah, this is it. it is the right one. So we're going to put it in the right position. We're going to heat up the hole here because once the thing gets cold, it will block the hole.
now we have done one we have to do the other one Right, we are almost done with this one. We are going to open the legs. And use a little thin to melt it and have it soldered. Right, we have done that. Now we have to cut the legs. One here, the other one here. Remember not to damage any of the other components around it. Okay, great. This one has been replaced. Now we have to take apart the uh, Hit it, hit sink. So we're going to remove this screw. Every card is different, so you have to pay attention to that. Okay, now that we have removed the, the heatsink, I'm going to do the same show with the other capacitor that you can see here. Great, we have removed one, we have to do the other one. Great, remember to keep in mind the polarity. So we have to use the strip line here, even that you can see in the electronic car, you, you see one is marked and the other is not. But just in case, sometimes this mark like inverse you know like this where it should be negative is positive and where it should be positive is negative so in this core is okay but in another ones you have to be careful with that so we're going to put the long leg is a positive It's kind of difficult, we can use this to remove the thing that we see on the other side. Well, here when it is difficult, as you can see, I tried to to put the capacitor through the little hole, but I, I couldn't do it. So we're going to use a little drill bit to accomplish that. In this case, we have like 5 or 0.25 or something like that. So, okay, here we have the for the capacitor we are going to use this great it works so 
sometimes it's a little difficult to adjust it. I just did because it's so thin. Just be very careful with the drill bit. You can break it. So don't do too much force. Don't push too hard. Use the speed, but not the, your strength. Okay, now that we have done that, we can put the capacitor. As you can see, it was easy. Now we're going to solder it. So now it won't be any problem. Okay, great. Now that we have accomplished that, we're going to use the cutter to remove the legs. Okay, now that we have finished this, we're going to put all back together as it was before, but just to check the video card. If you see that the if you see that you can clean the thermal compound here and put a new one, you can do that before putting it back together. So but before doing that we are going to put it back, test it, and if it works, we can take it apart, clean it up, put it back as it was before and that's it so there is not much to show you right now more than how we can put it back the way it was be very careful don't break anything Okay, now that everything is almost in their position, we can put it back the way it was. Okay, that's it. The video card has been fixed. Now we have to try it for a few hours or a few days if, if you can and see that everything works. Remember, if you can clean, clean, clean up the thermal compound, put a new one, don't use too much. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt, just leave me a comment in the section below and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.